Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. Uh, if you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI. 800-950-6264. You can also text NAMI at 741741. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week. I hope all of you have uh, good plans, whether it's to relax or go out and hang out with family. Please enjoy yourself. Don't stress and continue to protect your energy. So uh, I want to talk about that. I want to continue to talk about it. And I have a few more things that I wrote down that you should do in protecting your energy. Number one, uh, because some people may have wronged you and made you feel a certain way, treated you really bad, uh, it's only natural to want to make this person pay or try to get them back. But I'm here to tell you, uh, spirit will deal with this. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, everybody is receiving their comma. They're reaping what they have sown. So you don't have to worry about trying to get somebody back because it's not up to you to repay them back for that. And number two, don't let the past of what people have done to you dim your light. You know, sometimes you may think about it, but that's just spirit reminding you of what you've been through and letting you know that these people are not going to get away with what they have done. But don't allow this to dim your light. Don't start to go into a dark place. Don't get depressed behind it. Just know that you're going to uh, come out shining. So uh, this is all in protecting your energy. You don't want to go... Uh, to start to vibrate low. You don't want to think about the past and just dwell on it. Sometimes it may come to the forefront of your mind. You can be just sitting around not doing anything. But this is God just allowing you to know that all these past hurts that you have had, uh, they're going to pay for it. You know, you can't continue to do people wrong and think that that's okay. So you don't have to worry about getting them back because that's all left in God's hand. And number three, stay positive. Remove negative people out of your life. Um, and you know who they are. You, They may be pretending to care or have your best interest, but remove them out of your life. And sometimes it's just as simple as not being around that person as much. You know, um, even if it's a, a, a sibling or a parent that you are helping and you know they don't have your best interest, sometimes you may have to just remove yourself. Don't always be available. You're not the only one that they can turn to. So don't put yourself out of there, out there because it's important to protect your energy at all costs. And number four, rest and rejuvenate you know just don't allow the stress of what you've been through whether it's been a domestic abuse mental abuse or family abuse whatever the case may be don't allow it to weigh you down you know when you feel like you're just so tired tired and drained uh take advantage of it rest take a day off you know um if you can go to the spa you know do something nice for yourself and number five, um, continue to stay strong because your positive energy will increase your blessings. So everything that's, um, that you've been through, you had to go through this to get to where you are. So now that you're protecting your energy and you're not letting people come in and treat you any kind of way, you're moving on to your blessings. So continue to do that because... Like I said, everything that you went through, you had to go through it in order to get to where you are. And blessings are going to start to happen for you. And keep in mind, once you leave a situation, do not put yourself back in that situation. Uh, protect yourself at all costs. Uh, if you left something uh, in the situation that you just left, walk away, hold your head up and leave it. Don't go back trying to get it. You have to protect your energy protect your um, 
physical, and your mental. So I just wanted to come on here and follow up with part two on how to protect your energy. And if you know someone that is newly out of something that's been detrimental to their health, please like this video, share it, and help them as much as you can. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're all here to do is help one another. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I know I intend to. And just be kind to yourself and hold your head up. Don't worry about um, things that you've been through because everybody is going to pay uh, for what they've done wrong and you're going to pay for all the good that you've done too. Like they say, you reap what you sow. So have a great day. Have a good weekend and I will see you next week. Thank you for watching.